Today's the day. Finally back, episode four of the Fan Showdown. I got four more fans designed by you guys, printed by me, and we're going to test them out again today and see if anybody can finally knock off Bryce. I mean, Bryce is, uh, let's be honest, Bryce's Dr. Evil fan uh, has made it, <laughs> this has been on the board a little longer than uh, justifiable. So hopefully today we got four more fans. We'll knock them out of there and see who's the best. So let's start, let's take a look at our participants here today. We got, we got some interesting fans. We also have a couple more normal, I guess you could call it fans. So let's take it, for instance, this fan from Batter. So this fan he's calling the Double Vortex. It's essentially a nine blade fan. So the standard nine blade, like you would see on the Noctua A12X25, but each blade has a slit in it with a, an extra raised area. So you see a slit in each blade and then the back side of the slit is raised up uh, in hopes to maybe get more air or push more air through it. I don't know, it reminds me kind of a like a razor blade. So interesting, a nice interesting spin on like a normal fan design. So this should be pretty cool. I don't know how it's gonna perform or how it's gonna sound, but I like the, uh, I like your design angle. And then after this one, we have another more normal looking fan. So again, a nine blade design. Uh, forward swept blades, but this time around the front of each blade kind of looks like um, a whale fin, kind of. That's what it reminded me of. And this is the NJN fan mod from Mr. Nick. And again, yeah, nine blades. Uh, the hub's a little beefier on this one than others. And then these these are the normal fans, just, just so you know. Next up, we got this guy. So this is a fan called the Air Grabber, and it's from Matthew. And the idea behind this fan is that, well, as you can tell, it's extra tall. So he was going for a 140 millimeter fan within a 120 millimeter fan. So the bottom side of the fan is a standard 110 millimeters uh, in diameter, like all the other fans are that work with this hub for the A12X25. But then on the top, he went, uh, he went a little off strip, and he went for like a 140 millimeter size fan with a little bit of a lip to help hopefully funnel the air into the 120 millimeter area. And I guess the idea here is that we're going to produce more airflow since we're being able to take a bigger, a bigger bite out of the air. I don't know either way, but it is something I haven't seen before. So hats off to Matthew. Oh, and this one, it's also an eight blade fan, which is a little different from the other two, which are nine. And then we got Charles. So Charles, he took thinking outside the box to a whole new level because this fan's a two, a two piecer. So, this is a blower fan, or he's, what he's tried to make here was he's trying to convert the A12X25 into a blower type fan. But instead of moving the air, you know, normally if you see a blower fan design, it sucks in from the top and then it shoots it down a fin stack out the back. Um, he's got a turbine here, so the turbine's got 12 blades and it sits on top of the hub of the A12X25, and then they got this cap that goes over the top, and the cap itself says, it's ugly because I wanted it to be an easy print, which it was. So hats off to that, this is a very easy print, so that was successful. But yeah, this, this goes on the hub, and then this bolts over the top of it, and the idea here is if you can see the, the curves on the inside of this shroud, the air is gonna be pulled in from the middle here, flung out to the side, and then redirected back down through the radiator. So there's gonna be a lot of energy lost in uh, all the turning that the air is gonna be doing, but it'll be interesting to see if this works at all. And either way, I like the idea. I like the uh, outside the box thing. And regardless if it works out or not, if you're doing something crazy, you got my vote. So here, there's your four fans. And now we're gonna hook them up, see what they sound like, and then we'll run them and see what the uh, see what number one is. This time around, I have the decimal meter set up. There's a lot of angry, angry people the last time because I didn't have that, I was just listening to it. So I'm still gonna listen to it and see which one I think's the loudest, but just in case you want to take a look at what they're picking up, I'm not gonna move that. I got the radiator mark, so we're gonna put the fan in the same spot every time and just listen to see what it sounds like. So I guess we'll be quiet real quick, measure the room, because it's not super quiet in here, but just for a baseline. So around 40 would be a good benchmark. So we'll first we'll start out with this guy. The double, I think he called it double helix. What do you call this thing? Double vortex? Double vortex, I believe, if that's not right. Uh, I'm sorry. But we'll put this on here like so. Give it a listen. Make sure it's in the same spot. See who's the quietest.
So that one's around 48 and a half. Nice low pitched wind type noise. So next up will be the whale tail looking guy. So that's definitely a lot quieter. This one's like 44 decibels. So, so far the quietest, quietest sounding and quietest on the old DB meter over here. So the, <laughs> the air grabber now, let's see. That actually sits on there pretty nice. Hats off. So this one's, it shows like 42 and a half, 43. It sounds quieter, but it does have like this weird, it's kind of throwing air all over the place. You would think that it's just pulling it in and pushing it back, but I mean, I can feel it just kind of, it's weird. It's hard to explain. It's just kind of flinging all over the place. So it'd be interesting to see how this one actually plays out. So now we got to figure out how we're going to attach this blower style flan. So first things first, this goes on like so, yeah. and the cap goes over it like so. Problem is, I don't have any screws long enough to reach to the radiator. So what I've done here is I've put two, two smaller screws on the inside, which is going to basically attach the fan. And then we're just gonna use these long screws that I have here as kind of guides to kind of put this in the right spot so it's centered and where, where it was intended to be. And then we're gonna have to use some tape to uh, kind of attach it. Pretty cool. So that, I will say, we're gonna have to get the smog machine out, smog, fog machine out for this, just so I can see if the air is spilling out anywhere. Cause I mean, I, I do feel it going through. I know it is doing something uh, of some sorts, but yeah, it is, it's like one of the quieter ones. It is a higher pitch noise. So maybe a little bit more harsh than the others, but as you can see, it's right on the same decibels as the other guy. Not bad. And also outside the box thinking plus, plus 10. So like I said, we'll start here since I got this one already hooked up and it's a little more in depth than the other ones. But essentially, if you're new to this series, get subscribed, but we're gonna run these fans through a 45 minute stress test on Ida64 to see where they all level out. And then we're gonna finally see if somebody can beat Bryce on the board and take over. Maybe somebody will take over number one. So just because it's so unique, let's start with the, the blower fan. Now, even though you could see in the smoke test that it was pulling air in, to the hub and pushing it out. And you could even kind of see it go on the backside of the radiator. So this was doing something. It just wasn't doing very much of that something. Uh, it was moving air, but not enough to keep the system cool. So unfortunately, this guy thermally throttled. So in the end, really, it's not, as, it's not any better than Bryce's fan because Bryce's fan did overheat as well. I will say it does look cooler than Bryce's fan. I guess that depends on who you are, but that, to me, it looks cooler. And hats off for thinking outside the box, but unfortunately, didn't make the board. What about the air grabber? Uh, yeah, so the idea, I get it. 120 millimeter fan, uh, 140 millimeter fan, trying to get the best of both worlds here. But as you can see in the smoke test, and as I described, it's, it's quite turbulent. The air is not really moving from the front side of the radiator to the back side through it. It's kind of just getting whipped all over the place. So unfortunately, although it did work better than the, uh, uh, the other one there, the uh, the blower fan, it did only place seventh. So unfortunately, Bryce is still alive. Wow, who who would have thought? So that leaves us these two guys, the one that looks like the dolphin fins and one that looks like a bunch of razor blades. Both of these nine blade designs, pretty standard looking. Uh, so how'd they finish? Well, let's let's start with the uh, the old razor blade here. So if you remember, this was called the double vortex uh, from Batter and. It did move air. You could see it 
efficiently pushing air through the radiator stack sound wise wasn't true too you know obnoxious was it better than the a12x25 yeah, not so much it did finish fifth so bryce has finally been laid to rest and we do have a fifth place leader and that's the double vortex uh from batter and congratulations on that didn't do superb but it did do better than a lot of the other ones we have tested so moving on what about this guy this was the njn fan mod from mr nick and well, there's really not much to say about it. It's pretty standard, other than the dolphin fins. And unbelievably, this fan finished the test at the top of this group and also at the top of the last group. So yeah, right here, number one is the old dolphin fin or the NJN fan mod. All these other guys are moving down one spot. Rip that one right there. So there's your new leaderboard. So if you have a fan idea that you want to enter into the competition make sure you send all your fan designs to my fan showdown at gmail.com email address after you go check out my thingiverse page and get the template that kind of shows you the critical dimensions you need to hit but there you go till next week peace